Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you Houdini Digital Asset Loader extension. This extension is using Houdini Engine for US Decomposer as its backend. We will talk about it more in the future videos. But now, let me show you how the extension works. First, I created a simple HDA for this demo. This HDA can scatter models on a geometry. You can change the input geometry size. You can also decide how many models being scattered. Or even more, you can fracture the models. Let's use this HDA in USD Composer. Go to Window, Extensions. Search for Houdini. If you are not seeing any extensions available, make sure to turn off your filters. Now select Houdini HDA Loader. Now click the folder icon. Select Data, HDAs, Examples. Copy the directory path, we will need it later. Now go Window. Houdini Engine, Houdini Digital Asset Loader. Pass to the directory path. Let's create a sphere so we can scale the models on it. Now use the sphere as our input print. Load the HDA. Cook. You can see all the models are loaded, but they are all in one place. Let's make the sphere bigger and recook it again. Now it looks better. Let's hide the sphere. We can see all the models. I want to apply materials to the models. Just drag and drop. They look much better now. Now I want to apply physics on the models. I select all the models, add physics, rich body. Now I can run simulation. Looks good. I want to try something else. Let's go to layer, move all the deltas to our HDA layer. Now mute the layer, go back to stage. I reload the HDA, make a new instance of the HDA. This time I want only five models, but enable fracture. Cook. I can see more models are being generated. They are fractured. You can see all the pieces. Again, I apply material sounding. Now, I select all the pieces. Right click, add physics. Rich body. I can run simulation. Looking good. Let's go back to layer. Move all the data to our HDA layer. I can enable the previous one. I can also enable both. I have both simulation running. Thank you for watching.